Recently, I've been curious about trying diffusion filters like Cinebloom or Promist on excellent digital lenses to add a little bit of imperfection to them. Of course, if you have a great film lens, like a late generation Leica, Nikon, Canon, whatever, you could use it on that too. So today I'm going to be comparing the Cinebloom 10% with the Black Promist 1 quarter and 1 eighth, and all the comparisons will be on the GFX 100 with the 45 f2.8, which is a 35 f2.2 equivalent. In all the side-by comparisons, the settings will be exactly the same for each filter. I picked the settings based on the no filter image and then copy-pasted to the filter images. And I've made a point of including some just regular shooting situations, because often these comparisons just involve examples where there are bright lights or backlighting or other extreme situations where you can really see what the filters do, but I also wanted to show you some everyday examples. In addition, I'll show you backlit scenes, some portraits, and some night shots where the effects are going to be more obvious. And of course, as always, timestamps below if you want to skip around. I was surprised how big the differences were between these filters. The 1 8th Promist is definitely the most predictable and the most subtle, and overall was my favorite. And the Promist 1 quarter was typically the strongest, although the tendency to flare on the Cinebloom sometimes made it a little bit unpredictable or stronger than the quarter Promist. I could also imagine in certain situations, like night shots or portraits, you might actually prefer the stronger 1 quarter effect, because it makes things extra bloomy and smooth and kind of dreamy. Also interestingly, presumably partially from the loss of contrast, the Promus filter seemed to reduce the saturation pretty noticeably. And in every case, the loss of sharpness was very, very mild. I wouldn't be worried about it, and I am pretty obsessed with sharpness. The 1 8th is great because 
In my case, I can just pop it on my lens, leave it there, and it just works. As always, of course, the comments are open, curious for your thoughts, what you would shoot with, whether you like ProMist filters, etc. And I post about once a month. If you subscribe, YouTube might tell you when I release another video. All the content on this channel, music, photos, video, whatever, is licensed under Creative Commons. Feel free to reuse if you want. And otherwise, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Appreciate it, and I will see you next month.